Hello, and welcome to the Blue Cube YouTube channel. In the continuation of Adobe Animate software training from beginner to advanced, in this video you will learn how to use anchor points and how to copy shapes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In order to use anchor points, we must first have one shape. So I select the rectangle and draw one rectangle like this. Now I select the shape with the transform tool. Meanwhile, you can see that there is a white dot in the middle of the figure. This point is called the anchor point or the central point, which actually revolves around this point. Now, if I keep the mouse here from this part, you can see that the shape of the mouse changes. And if I hold the left click, I can rotate the shape like this. If you look carefully, our figure is rotating exactly from the middle because the white point or anchor point is in the center. Now with this transform tool, if I click on this point and hold the left click and place it in this corner and rotate the shape from this corner. Notice that our shape rotates from the white dot that is now in the corner. If I select the anchor point again, for example, I set it to the top. Now my figure rotates from the top. Place the anchor point in another place and it will work in the same way. So the shape rotates around the white point called anchor point. Now, to put the anchor point back in the center of the shape, I have to double click on it so that it is exactly in the middle of my shape. Also, if I make the shape smaller or larger from here, you can see that the shape becomes smaller and larger from my center. But if we place the anchor point here and make the shape smaller, the shape does not change from this side and only I can zoom in or out from the right side. I take the anchor point again and place it on the right side. This time, the shape from the left side can be enlarged or reduced. Double clicks on anchor point again. So now you have learned how to use anchor point. I'll select the shape and delete. But friends, if you remember in the previous lesson, we created one rectangle with broken corners and I said there is another rectangle that if I create it now. Using the selection tool, I can round its corners from here. Curves are created for four sides. But sometimes we want only one side or two sides of the shape to be curved. To do this, it doesn't matter what kind of rectangle you created. I delete both rectangles and select the rectangle tool again. Now, in the properties window and the tool and rectangle options section, the rectangle settings can be changed. I click on this option and set the curvature value to 50 pixels. Now every rectangle I create has curved corners. I can make the amount of curvature much higher or lower. This time I set it to 20px to create less curvature. Now I choose this option. In this case, we can determine the amount of curvature for each side separately. For example, I don't want the upper and left corner to have a curve, so I set its value to zero. I set the right and upper corner to 50. I set the left and bottom to 50 pixels. And for the right and bottom, I set its value to zero. Now, if I create a new rectangle, the curve is created on the two sides where I created a 50 pixel curve, and there is no change on the two sides where I set the number zero. You can then use this technique to create curves for one or more sides of the rectangle. I select the shapes and press the delete button to delete all the shapes. I reset the rectangle settings and create another rectangle. Well, now I select the transform tool again to copy the shapes. For now, I put this shape in a corner. From the edit menu, I click on the copy option, which I can use Ctrl and C instead. I click on the copy and again click on paste in center option in the edit menu. In this case, it places the copied shape in the center of the document. I enter the edit menu again. Our copy command is still there and I don't need to hit the copy option again. This time I come and click the paste in place option. Now my new shape is copied and placed exactly on the previous shape. 
If I move it, you will see that the new shape is created exactly on top of the previous shape. So Paste in Center places the shape in the center of the document, and Paste in Place places the new shape on top of the previous shape. The shortcuts of each option are written here. You can use these shortcuts. This time I choose the Paste Special option. When I click the method, this window is created for me. Normally, if I click OK on the Flash Drawing option, it creates a copy in the center again. I can come now and move it like this. Now I select all the shapes with the free transform tool. I select the copy option from the edit section and select the paste special option again in the edit menu. This time I select the bitmap option and click on the OK option. In this mode, you can see that the bitmap mode shows the shape in the center. A white background will be created and all the shapes we copied from it will be displayed as bitmaps, that is, as pictures. If I make it bigger, you can see that the quality of the picture will be lower. All shapes that we create in Adobe Animate software are in vector mode. That is, no matter how much we make them bigger or smaller, their quality will not change. But in the bitmap mode that we copied, the shapes are displayed as pixels and by enlarging the image, it loses its quality. I remove all shapes except one. This time, when the shape is in selection mode, I'll press Ctrl plus C. Your shape will be copied here and if I press Ctrl and V, the shape will be copied again and placed in the center. This is another model of copying that you can copy your shape with Ctrl C and Ctrl and V. Another way to copy is to choose your own shape with the Transform tool. Hold the Alt button and drag with left click, and in this way you can create multiple copies of your shapes. I hold the Alt button and by holding the left click and dragging, multiple shapes are created. Well, I hit Ctrl and Z to go back to my previous state. I choose my shape again. This time I choose the Cut option or press the Ctrl and X keys. If I click the method, it hides the shape. Well, if I press the paste option here again, it will display the shape again. But I select it again and cut the shape from the edit menu. I create a new scene. My friends, in the next lessons, I will teach you how to create a scene. But for now, just so you can see, I will select the scene option in the insert section so that the second scene will be created for me. So this was scene one and now I entered the second scene. If I click paste and center in the edit section, I can insert the shape I cut into my new scene. I create another shape again and select both. I press control and X, the shortcut is cut option. I go back to scene one and press V control. In this way, my shapes fall into place. And friends, the next point, we said that whatever shape you choose, the anchor point will be centered. But if you select two or more shapes at the same time, the anchor point will be placed in the middle of your selection. And if I rotate the shape from this corner, you can see that the two shapes from the center of the two selected shapes create the rotation. Again, we can change the anchor point, which also changes the center of rotation. So. Friends, using these methods that I told you, you can copy the shapes very easily. If I double-click on the anchor point again, it will be placed in the middle of the shapes I selected. Therefore, I must practice all the things that I told you so that in the future you will be able to learn more difficult lessons much more easily. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click the subscribe button or the subscribe below the video, and please like the video. Goodbye for now.